Bessel van der Kolk's book The Body Keeps the Score, Brain, Mind, and Body in the Healing of Trauma is a key work in the field of trauma and how it affects the mind and body. This nonfiction book looks at the wide-ranging and complicated effects of stress and shows how we can recover and heal. Van der Kolk, a world-famous expert in the field of trauma, looks at how our bodies carry the weight of traumatic events in a very interesting way. In this investigation, the main character is not a single person, but rather the general idea that pain is a deeply human experience. Trauma is the main character as van der Kolk explains how it affects our bodies, brains, relationships, and selves. As a whole, the story doesn't develop in a traditional way, but rather as more and more is learned about trauma and how it affects people. Van der Kolk shows us how stress changes our brains, messes up our ability to feel safe, and can make it hard for us to connect with other people. These effects can set off a chain of problems that can make life and health very hard. One study that stands out is one that Van der Kolk talked about. It found that children from unstable homes had an overactive amygdala, which is the part of the brain that controls fear and feeling. This shows not only how trauma changes the structure of our brains but also why people who have been wounded might have stronger fear responses or be emotionally unstable. The book is full of other stories of trauma survivors' battles and how they overcame them. These stories paint a vivid picture of the landscape of trauma. From veterans with PTSD to kids in unstable homes, Van der Kolk tells their stories with kindness, giving us a deeper and broader understanding of what trauma is. Throughout the story, Van der Kolk says that our bodies do keep the score, storing memories of traumatic events not just in our thoughts but also in our nervous systems and physical bodies. He says that healing from trauma requires a whole person method that takes into account the mind, body, and brain. One of the most important ideas in the book is that the mind, the body, the brain, and our life events are all connected. Van der Kolk makes a point of saying that stress is not just a mental problem, but also a physical one. He says that the human body is very strong and can heal itself, but it often needs the right surroundings and ways of doing things to do so. The power of recognizing and understanding trauma is another important lesson. Van der Kolk says that trauma is often downplayed or forgotten, both by society and by the people who have been through it. He says that the first step to getting better is to recognize stress and how it has affected you. Van der Kolk also talks about a lot of new ways to treat people. These include eye movement desensitization and reprocessing, yoga, mindfulness, and neurofeedback. All of these try to include the body in the healing process. These suggested treatments are rays of hope that show that trauma is not a life sentence and that we can get better from it. In the end, The Body Keeps the Score is a deep look at how stress affects our lives and how we might be able to heal from it. It shows compassion to people who have been through trauma and gives important information to people who want to learn more about it. Van der Kolk's important work makes us feel like we have more power. It admits that trauma is hard, but it also shows how strong the human spirit is, how strong our bodies are, and how naturally we can heal and get better. It shows that trauma does leave marks, but that we can get our lives back with the right tools, knowledge, and compassion. To really understand the book's main message, you have to accept the harsh truth of how trauma affects people while also recognizing the possibility for healing and change. After all, as van der Kolk says, our bodies keep track of everything, but they also help us get better.